my name is Lynn Wozniak and this is my document evaluation. The document that I chose to do was a uh, four panel brochure that I found in the library of uh, the other school I go to, the Tech College down here. Um, it's called Household Hazardous Waste Collection in Waukesha County. I thought it was appropriate since I live in the county. Um, the uh, document is for um, people who have hazardous waste that they are really aren't sure what to do with. Uh, this this document gives you a list of the places you can take it, the times, um, the locations, and um, what types of um, hazardous waste you can take to the collection sites and that you can actually dis dispose of yourself in the garbage. Um, the document is pretty effective in doing its job. Um, it does list the um, the hazardous waste year-round collect collection sites. Um, unfortunately, it's missing phone numbers for all but three of them. The Menominee Falls location is the only one that has a phone number. Um, it also has um, satellite collection sites, um, but unfortunately, the satellite collection sites don't show any addresses, so one has to just know where to go. Um, the, uh, the reader will need to read everything in this document in order to um, to know what's going on. Uh, now this is just one page here. The second page is here. The second page is a little bit more interesting. It shows um, a list of items accepted at the collection sites and items you can actually dispose of yourself. Uh, how does the design help in communication? Well, it makes it nice and easy. It, it shows you a nice chart. Um, the unfortunate part is the use of yellow in one of the charts <clears throat> in the recommended disposal for other, other items the use of yellow is, in this case, acceptable because this is a full color document, but if somebody were to make a copy of this for a friend, that yellow box might not show up. Um, and, you know, the whole issue with um, people being colorblind, it's, it's not exactly the most friendly color. Um, the uh, other items that I noticed about it were, especially on this page, um, there's a list called Unacceptable Waste List, and it's got this, uh, this stop sign icon. Now, based on what I'm thinking of unacceptable waste, of what they list is ammunition, empty containers, batteries, latex paint, medicines, sharps, radioactive materials, and whatnot. That, to me, doesn't really reflect that stop, that stop sign. Uh, the stop sign is kind of childish and immature, and that list does not speak to me as immature. Uh, I think they might be sending out the wrong message with that. Um, so, uh, I liked the, the use of the green. The green reminded me of, um, re, you know, recycling and, and disposing things. Um, all in all, I, I really liked this page a whole lot because it gives you the exact, you know, uh, examples of what people might actually have in their ba their basement or their garage and uh, what they can do with it. Um, getting back to the first page, we have um, a couple things I listed you know, the phone number situation. There's a phone number in the front of the document, but it doesn't really show who that's for. I mean, if that's for the Waukesha County Recycling in general, um, then how come that number isn't listed on the far left-hand panel as well? Um, so there's a little bit of confusion there. I also was confused by the title itself, um, Household Hazardous Waste Collection in Waukesha County. Now, when I think collection, I think of the people who come to my door every day or every week to pick up my garbage. Um, that's, in my eyes, collection. Uh, but as you get further into the document, you realize that, no, you actually have to go and drop this stuff off yourself. Um, now, as far as distractions, I mentioned the stop sign, which was um, a little bit too childish for such a document. Uh, I really do like the first image that you see when you op when you when you first pick up the pamphlet, which is the house with the the cleaning products and, and containers in front of it and whatnot. Um, it's kind of a, a universal, you know, things you have around the house sort of a sort of a picture. And then the only other um, really um, graphic was the Veolia Environmental Services uh, logo. So um, the, the document itself is quite text heavy, but it's not really the kind of document that you would want a lot of pictures. You kind of need the information. Um, one more thing that distracted me in this document, um, everything is pretty friendly. It's pretty, you know, uh, informative and whatnot. But when you get to this, this final panel here, it's called Reminders uh, right here. 
it it almost seems like it's yelling at you and and maybe I'm taking it the wrong way but the tone in this particular column is is different than the rest of the document um, everything is no 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 don't do this don't do that um, but uh, overall I think the document does what it's supposed to do it gives you the list of the products you can and cannot dispose of uh, at their facilities on the, in, on the inside of the document and on the outside it gives you the list of the addresses uh, of the facilities that you can take these items to. It also gives you a, a very not so nice reminder list of the things you can and cannot dispose of. Um, so uh, I was happy to see that it was printed on recycled paper considering the type of document it was. And um, I think that uh, if, I, if I personally had household <laughs> hazardous waste, I would take this and, and keep this um, for my for my records in case I did, you know, need to dispose of something. But I do, um, I do think that this is a very effective document. Uh, I would, I was, I'm kind of torn because it says that it's year-round collection sites and that it was printed in February of 2008, but at the same time, I think a year on the front cover would probably be a little bit more effective to know that it is current. Um, just, I mean, that was just something that I noticed. Um, and the, like I said, the yellow on the uh, second page here was my biggest concern. I liked the, the use of the small graphics, the triangle, the square, the square with the X, and the little recycle symbol. They're easily to, easy, easy to see and easy to understand. Um, but other than that, I think the document did a very good job of, um, of making itself known and uh, making it so that you notice it and you can keep it for when you need it.